Google is making some of its boldest moves in AI right now, a new programming language designed to clean up one of AI's biggest weaknesses. A mysterious image model with a bizarre name that's caught the entire internet off guard, and a lineup of AI agents that look ready to take over hours of repetitive developer work in seconds. It's Google attacking the rough edges of AI while opening doors into brand new territory. So let's dive in. The first big update is Mangle, a programming language Google just unveiled to help AI deal with one of its hardest challenges, messy, fragmented data. Here's the problem. Modern software is a tangled web of information. You've got dependency files, endless logs, configuration data, vulnerability reports, each scattered across different tools and stored in incompatible formats. Trying to connect all those dots by hand takes forever. For people, it's frustrating. For AI, which needs structured facts to reason with, it's almost impossible. Mangle is Google's fix. It's based on an older logic language called Datalog, but extended to fit the complexity of today's world. Instead of examining each file or source on its own, Mangle lets you pull from APIs, databases, and config files and treat them all as one unified system. That means AI can query everything at once without stitching pieces together bit by bit. One of the most powerful features, recursive rules. That allows Mangle to trace connections step by step, no matter how deep the chain goes. Picture this, your project depends on library A, which depends on library B, which links to library C. If library C is compromised, Mangle can trace the chain back and show exactly where the vulnerability lands in your system. That kind of structured, explainable reasoning is critical for AI agents. It gives them reliable logic they can justify, rather than just probabilistic guesses. But security is only the start. Mangle can power software supply chain audits, like generating SBOMs, software bills of materials, that governments are now requiring. It can enforce versioning across thousands of dependencies. It can highlight outdated libraries before they become a risk. It even works with knowledge graphs, letting organizations represent entities and relationships as logical facts then query them to reveal patterns hidden in massive data sets. And Mangle isn't just a research toy. Google built it as a Go library, meaning developers can drop it straight into apps and AI pipelines. It supports aggregations like counts and sums, plus external function calls, so it blends logical reasoning with real computations. That flexibility is exactly what modern AI workflows need. It may not grab headlines like a flashy new model, but make no mistake, Mangle is laying down essential groundwork. Gemini and other frontier AIs are powerful, but without logic layers like this, they can't reliably reason about messy real-world data. Mangle fills that gap, making AI more grounded, explainable, and useful. Now, while that was landing, something stranger appeared. A mysterious new image model suddenly showed up online with a name that almost no one could take seriously, Nano Banana. It started on LLM Arena, a site where people test and vote on AI model outputs. Users noticed Nano Banana appearing in the lineup, and the quality shocked them. Sharper images, cleaner edits, more creativity than most models in the mix. Within days, Reddit and X were full of people sharing results. Everyone had the same question. Who built it? The leading theory, Google, and the breadcrumbs were everywhere. Earlier this month, Google teased an image-related update. Then Logan Kilpatrick, Google's head of AI studio product, dropped a banana emoji on X. At the same time, a DeepMind product manager posted a photo referencing Mauricio Catalan's banana duct tape to a wall art piece from 2019. People started connecting the dots, and the name itself might not just be a joke. Google already uses the Nano label for small, efficient models designed to run locally on devices like phones. So Nano Banana might actually signal an image model built for on-device generation, a huge deal if true. The model still struggles with one of the hardest challenges, spelling words inside images. But overall, the results feel top tier. And with Google's hardware event coming up, many think Nano Banana could be revealed there. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but all signs point to this being Google's secret project. If that's the case, it could mark the start of their next big leap in image generation. And then we get to Google Cloud where things get even more practical. They just introduced five new AI agents, and they're designed to take over the repetitive, time-draining work that slows teams down. 
Instead of just spitting out code snippets, these agents are built to run entire workflows end to end. Here's the lineup. First is the BigQuery data agent. If you've ever built data pipelines, you know how painful it is. Writing scripts to ingest, clean, and maintain data from dozens of sources. This agent does it all from natural language. You describe what you want and it builds the pipeline. It pulls data from Google Cloud Storage, checks consistency, and even adapts when schemas change. For AI systems, that means less boilerplate and faster access to structured data. Next is the Notebook Agent, integrated into Notebook LM for Enterprise. This one turns BigQuery notebooks into full-blown research assistants. It can run exploratory data analysis, engineer features for ML models, train them on the fly, summarize results, and even generate curated knowledge bases for teams. Analytics stops being a grind and starts feeling conversational. Then there's the Looker Code Assistant. Looker is Google's dashboard and visualization platform, but building those dashboards usually takes specialized skills. Now you just ask in plain English, and the assistant generates charts, queries, or Python code. It explains its reasoning, suggests next steps, and stays accurate thanks to Looker's semantic layer, so the answers align with real business definitions. The fourth is the database migration agent. Migrating from legacy systems to modern databases is one of the most painful tasks in tech. This agent scans schemas, stored procedures, and functions, then automatically converts them for Google databases like Spanner or AlloyDB. It even sets up continuous replication, so downtime is nearly zero. Developers get side-by-side -side comparisons of the old and new code with explanations so they can validate everything. For companies modernizing infrastructure, it's a massive time and cost saver. And finally, there's the GitHub agent, Gemini CLI for GitHub Actions. It lives directly in GitHub, automating all the background noise, triaging issues, labeling, reviewing pull requests, and even generating tests. It's open source and customizable so teams can adapt it to their workflows. Think of it as a tireless collaborator that handles the boring parts of repo management. Put all of that together and you start to see the bigger picture. These aren't just isolated tools. They're the first steps toward autonomous developer agents. Instead of just suggesting lines of code, they're managing full workflows, pipelines, databases, repos, and insights. So the question is, what's really happening here? Is Google laying the groundwork for the next phase of AI? structured reasoning, on-device image models, autonomous agents, or are they just throwing out experiments to see what sticks? Either way, the pace is accelerating and the impact could reshape how developers, companies, and everyday users interact with AI. So what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.